Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi Nube. Uh, I'm here just to give a brief update uh, on those Zimbabweans who were asking for help from the Zimbabwean embassy. You'll remember that we've had some few broadcasts here whereby we've been advising you that the embassy has been considering the requests that you've been sending, especially those who want to relocate to Zimbabwe and those who want to send their properties back home. The questions that they've been asking or rather the assistance that they've been seeking is in the form of uh, duty, uh, payments and also uh the their equipment the way i mean they, they they've been asking on whether or not they'll be they'll be assisted to carry their equipment through will there be transport from government will there be a waiver on duty or a reduction on duty to be paid for all the goods that will be sent through via the border so this is what we're updating you on before i go ahead i would like to request you to as usual subscribe to this channel like this video and share it so the information that we have right now is that the government is gathering a database through the Zimbabwean consulate in South Africa a database of Zimbabweans who need assistance to ferry their goods and take them back home so what they need you to do is to send you uh, to send them rather your full name the type of assistance that you need where you are based in south africa and where you'll be going in zimbabwe so this is what you need to send through to them and we have uh, a number for the consulate which you need to send that information through to and the number is 012-342-5125 three four two five one two five and please note that this is the number that you need to use in communicating with the zimbabwean uh, embassy in south africa you can talk to them about any type of assistance that you need as a zimbabwean citizen in south africa but specifically uh, in this moment we are talking about those who want to relocate to Zimbabwe, those who want to send their property to Zimbabwe. And please note that if you are sending vehicles or if you are sending goods home, they ought to be goods that you have been using here in South Africa. You cannot then, taking advantage of this, go and buy a motor vehicle and then want to transport it duty-free into Zimbabwe because this is a service which is being considered for Zimbabweans who want to relocate home or to send their properties home, which they've been using in South Africa, this is not a chance for you to try and circumvent or circumnavigate the laws of the country in terms of paying in for import duty for things that you are buying now, trying to send home. And the concern that has been there is that the, the, the Zimbabwean embassy has previously provided buses, especially during uh, the COVID era where there were lockdowns and they provided buses for Zimbabweans who wanted to return home to spend the lockdown period there. But those buses, after the government had paid for those buses, very few takers came on board. And at the end of the day, those buses had to drive to Zimbabwe, having been paid for by the government, empty of anybody so this is why they are so skeptical about zimbabwe and seeking assistance to travel back home because they fear that the government is going to pay for buses and then at the end of the day there will be net no takers for those buses at the end of the day there will be no takers for that mode of transport which would have been provided for you to ferry your goods home so this is the chance for you to take advantage of this and make sure that you tell them the kind of assistance that you need, where you are based, and whether or not you are documented here in South Africa. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.